The lies you've been told about the tax code. And yep, your old buddy Josh is even falling for it until I saw this today. I'm freaking so pissed off, not gonna lie to you. This is nuts. You're gonna be mad, and uh, and well, you should be. And hopefully, uh, we uh, we especially if you're on the right as I am. Hopefully, you scream bloody murder at these Republican politicians to say you guys suck. I'm voting for the. I'm, I can't vote for the Democrats. I I can't. But uh, look, I'm white, dude. I'm straight. I'm white. I'm Christian. I got four kids. The Democrat has not no. They don't want anything to do with my kind. Let's just put it that way. They, I'm literally verboten, verboten on the Democratic Party. They don't want straight. Look, they get they want the uber wealthy Jeremy Grantham's of the world. I get that. They don't want just some working guy dude, with children. It's just they don't want us. They hate us with a passion. And I can't join a party that actively encourages my replacement. And we know this for a fact. And it's not just whites, my friends. If you're black, middle middle uh, middle income American as well, and a man who doesn't uh, kowtow to their freaking ways of doing business, they don't want you either. In fact, they hate you more than they hate me because they think they should be able to tell you what to do. But some of you guys have the guts to stand up for yourself and say, no, it's coming more every day, which is why they had to take out Trump. But anyway, I just, it's crazy. So <sighs> I, I wish there was a populist candidate who say, we're going to take after, make sure that the middle income, and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. And I'm upper income, man. I'll tell you where I'm at, and you'll be stunned. But I'm not always like that, and I haven't always been like that. I certainly wasn't raised like that. Just the last couple of years, I am. And it's amazing. I love it. Could not be more and more gratified, but or great grateful. But it doesn't mean it's going to last. Anyway, so they, I wish there was a guy who said, yeah, we're not, we don't like abortion. You know, we got no problem with gay, you know, people being gay, but we don't want that stuff promoted. You know, we want to promote families, dude. And gays can't have families. Can they adopt kids? Yeah, that's fine. But we don't want to promote it as if it's common because it's just not. Come on. Stupid. Doesn't mean we go after these people and throw them in jail and throw them off buildings. But it just means, look, man, there's a certain level of society that has to run, and that's the nuclear family. This is, this. I mean, it's nuts. This is even debatable. And there's a clown on here who says, Black Lives Matter has never said they were against a nuclear family. I said, are you freaking, oh, I just, can people just pull their head out of their, two, their butts for two seconds, look around and tell which way is east? Gosh. The nuclear family is what drives prosperous Safe societies destroy the nuclear family, and you're going to get a cluster FARC, which is exactly the point of the Marxist. This is what BLM does. It's not because they want black lives, they because they are Marxist, as the BLM founder said. All right, so let's go to the Tax Foundation. Purportedly, some writings. I got lots to say on this, so we'll again divide this up to videos. And this is from Dateline. Just the other day. I did a, another video on this earlier today, but we're going to show you here right quick. So we're just going to go down here. Oh, that's not. I want to do this one right here. Um, summary of the latest tax uh, income data. All right, so the lies they tell you. Now, I'm just going to go straight to the charts, all right? We're going to show you right here. High income taxpayers paid the high, high income taxpayers paid the highest average income tax rates. Oh, my goodness, look at this. The top 1% paid 26% average effective tax rate. The bottom 50% paid 3.1. So the top one paid a quarter of all their income went to taxes. The bottom 50% paid 3.1. We're going to come back to this because it's freaking, this is just so, errors of omission, lies by omission, all right? High income taxpayers pay the majority of federal income taxes, all right? So high income taxpayers paid right here between, right, 42.3% if you're in the top, what was that, 1%, I think. Yeah, top 1%. So if you're in the, so total share of gross income high income taxpayers the top 1% made 22% of gross income and they paid 42.3% of federal income taxes oops I don't want that federal income taxes what is a federal income tax what is not federal income tax fica fica is not federal income tax 7.65 for social security on both sides and by the way that stops at like 145 so I'm actually becoming or coming around to get rid of cap. That hurt me. I make more than 155. It hurt me. But the facts are, and I'll probably show this in a different video, but you got to raise the cap, dude, 100%. Or eliminate the cap for Social Security taxation. Because notice, federal income taxes. FICA is not a federal income tax. So what they're going to say is they're going to say, look, 
the bottom 50% only pay 3.1% of the of uh, the average income tax rates, and they only pay what do they say the bottom 50% only pays 2.3% of federal income tax. That's not FICA, you freaking liars, and you know this. You know that's not FICA. Why are you doing this? I can't. How can I freaking trust anything that comes out of these guys' mouths with these errors of omission? I hate it. You know that doesn't include FICA. And you act as if they're only paying 2.3%, the bottom 50%, and the rich people are paying all the taxes. The rich people aren't paying all that much of FICA because there's a cap. So the rich make only less than a quarter of their total income, the top 1%, and they're paying 40% of total income taxes. That's not fair. Now let's keep going. Top 1% shares of income taxes has increased over time from 34% to 42%. Okay. Bottom 50% has decreased over time from 5% to 3. Oh my goodness, you see, the rich are paying more. Let's keep going. And this is what Rush Limbaugh, look, Rush Limbaugh fell for this crap too. This one, a, a huge area of disagreement I had with Rush Limbaugh. He fell for it. He goes, how can he rob for the poor and give to the rich? And I, it's a great observation Rush did. He goes, you can't rob for the poor and give to the rich because the poor inherently are poor. It's a great observation. I always like that. It's a good point. You're not robbing from the poor and giving to the rich. You're actually giving to the rich is what we're doing. I mean, that's just all there is to it. And so here's so here's what they're going to say. The top 1% share of AGI fluctuates with the business cycle. Do, does it now? Does it? Huh. So if you just, I mean, they had a, a couple years where it went up. It's bouncing around a little bit. But so we went from 18% uh, share of the AGI, the top. So you see right here. Oh, let me just go back. The top 1% share of the AGI fluctuates with the business cycle. It doesn't look like it fluctuates that much since Obama took office. It looks like it's been going steadily like that. But even here is about 18, 17 and a half, and now it's at friggin' 22 and a half. So we had one. So it was this based on the leverage that they had. And then we bailed them out. Then we bailed them out. They went from 23% of the total AGI down to friggin' 18% or 17%, and we bailed them out. And now look where we are here. And yet the bottom 50%, I mean, see how they, again, an error of omission. The top 1% share of AGI fluctuates. You can't, I used to buy all this crap. I did. Here's the bottom 50%. Yeah, it's not It's not fluctuating at all. It's going one direction. That's south and the red right there. Went from 15% to less than 10%, about 10%. So it's got the top, bottom 50% of Americans, share of the income, of AGI, adjusted gross income, went down from 15 to 10%. That's a 50% decline. Now, I did a video just a, few, you know, a couple hours ago about how AGI doesn't include, depending on your social security, you know, I, I, you know, in terms of your Roth IRAs and stuff, there are things in AGI that's not included uh, for a lot of lower income taxpayers, transfer payments. It doesn't matter because we're talking so small potatoes relative to the, what the big guys are making. Oh, boy. Anyway, so here, right here, you can see 15% in 2001, 10 uh went down to 10 in 2022 22 post a cry for the top one percent went from 17 and a half to 22 yeah i'm not crying all right let's keep going i guess that's it so but i want all right so yeah that's it right here um so now i want to go into the one the point one percent all right so we're gonna go straight to the straight to the horse's mouth so i download this stuff and we're going to show you a couple of things here. Average income tax rate, bottom 50%, 3.1%, top 1%, 26%. We're going to talk about that. Share of adjusted gross income, bottom 50%, made $10 for every $100 of AGI in the United States. And they only paid 2.3% of that income taxes. Income taxes. Whereas the top 1% made, uh, they got 22% of every, they got $22 of every $100 AGI in the United States. And they paid... 42% of total taxes, okay? That doesn't tell the whole story. So let's watch this. We're going to go right here. This is in 2001. The top 1% paid 33.2%. That was the total income tax share. Now we go over here, and they're paying 42.3. Wow, so they've gone up by a third. That's great. Look, they're getting crushed. The bottom 50% paid 4.9, and now they're paying 2.3. So they went down by 50%. So the top uh, 1%, their share of income tax of total AGI went up by, what did I say, 33%. The bottom 50% went down by 50%. You're saying, see, the rich are paying their fair share. Uh, no, 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 no. Top 1% AGI share, 174 in 2001. What's it now? 22.2. .2. So that went up by about 25%. 
So their share of AGI went up. This is only income. This doesn't include wealth, only income. It went up by 25%. The bottom 50% share of AGI went from 14.4 to 10.2, as I just showed you. So yes, the share of AGI of tax share went up well, the share of the income went up for the top 1% as well. It's going to get worse here in just a second. So, wadida! Who would have thought? So, I'm supposed to cry over that? Hell no. Average income tax rate in uh, 2017, 18, 19, 20, 21. So, this is the TCGA. So, it did help the bottom half, 4% to 3.1. And top went from 26.8 to 26. So, no big deal. So, the average income tax for the lower income tax earners did go down. The average income tax they had to pay. All right. We're not done yet. So, let's keep going here. All right. So, now we're going to get to 0.1%, which just started in 19 and 2001. All right, so we got 90, 1981, the beginning of the Reaganomics. We got 94 million taxes, tax uh, returns filed. All right, everybody with me so far? Number, number of federal income tax returns filed, 1981, 94 million. The top 1%, well, inherently, they had 946,000 of those because that's 1,000, right? The bottom 50% had uh, half of the top, uh, half of the whole thing. Everybody with me on that? So... We have 946,000 for the top 1%. 946 taxpayers are in the top 1%. And 47 million in the bottom 50%. Everybody with that so far? All right, let's keep going. So now we're going to come down to 1981. We had, again, how many tax returns do we have? 1981. We had 946,000 tax returns filed by the top 1%. In 1981... They had $1.79 trillion, $1 trillion of AGI. So I can't remember how many tax returns I just said, but whatever. $1.79. How many did the top, bottom 50% have in income? $318 billion. Huh? So these guys had six times the top 1%. Oh, I'm sorry, 149. Excuse me. We had a total of 1.79. Excuse me. So the top 1% had 149 billion dollars of income. The bottom 50% had freaking what did I say 318 billion. So they had the top 1% had about a little bit less more less than half of the total income the bottom 50%, all right? Everybody with me on that so far? Let's keep going. Whoa, what happened? Whoa. 1 trillion 748 billion. You'll see this change right there. But 1988, the top 1% overtook the bottom 50% in total income, total AGI. In 1988, the end of the Reagan term. Look at that. They went from $138 billion to $288 billion, less than half of what the bottom had. So again, in 1980, the top 1% had less than half the income of the bottom 50%. In 1988, the top 1% had more income than the bottom 50%. Let's keep going. In 2000, the top 1% had almost a little bit less than half, of twice that of the bottom 50%. The top 1%, 1.3 trillion, the bottom 834 billion. And if we look at that, 288, oh, now I gotta get my, do I have it? No, let me go get my calculator, hold on a second. We got 138 is our present value. We got... One three one three three seven is our future value. Twenty years and zero payment. That's twelve percent a year of income the top one percent was making. All right, so let's go to two eighty eight is our present value, and we got eight thirty four. Eight thirty four is our future value. That's five point five percent. Oh yes, it doesn't it doesn't stop there. Now we go to two thousand one where we got actually. The 0.1%, 0.1%. So if you look at this table, you'll see 0.1%. How many? There's 119,000 tax returns filed for the 0.1% in 2001. All right, 119,000 tax returns. They made 492 billion dollars in that year. The bottom 50% didn't even make twice that of the top 0.1%. It's just income, not net worth, not wealth, income. Keep going. The top 
one percent in 2020 made more than the bottom 50 flipping percent in 2020. The top one percent made well more than twice the bottom 50 percent. In 2020, the top one point one percent made one point four trillion dollars in AGI. Only 150,000 of that is subject to FICA. I get it. There is some Medicare stuff. I get all that. It ain't much. How many tax returns were filed for the top 0.1%? 157,000. 157,000 tax returns. They made $1.4 trillion. I, I mean, what, so we take, I don't even know how you do that. One, I mean, $1.4 trillion. One. Four one nine zero zero zero. That's a million. That's there you go. Divide by a hundred and what we say, hundred forty-one thousand tax returns. So no, no, we said how many tax returns were there? One hundred fifty-seven thousand tax returns. Is that right? I might, might not be doing this right. I think it might be right. Equals that divided by that. So what their average income is 90 million, is that right? Nine million, something like that. So nine million, I, I can't, I guess. But it, uh, nine million is their average income. And an in ungodly amount of that is not being subject to FICA. I mean, look at this. So the bottom 50% went from two over 40 years, 288. So we'll change the 40 N to the present value is 1.276, future value. They've averaged 3.79% growth over those times. The top, because we can only go back here to, but just look, freaking, ow. 138, they went from 138, present value, to 2781, future value. Did I do that right? 138 present value, 2781 future value, 40 years. Yeah, seven, they like almost quadrupled, yeah, but almost tripled what the bottom 50% made. I, I mean, how do you? I need to graph that. Let me see. I want to see. Quick and easy uh, graph here. I have I, I can work on it, but I'm not going to right now. So here's, I mean, look, I mean, and if you do a net of, you know, we can use see, we can do whatever we want, but it's like inflation. I mean, look at that, dude. I mean, one two seven six is who again? One, yeah, right there. One two seven six, the bottom fifty percent. One four one nine is who? One four one nine. One twelve five three three. Who's that? Um, twelve. That's wait, is that? No, we don't want that one. I screwed that up. I screwed that one right there. What's that? Eleven two five seven. I'm not sure what that is. Anyway, oh right here. Yeah, we don't want that. We want uh, so the top. Yeah, I mean, let's see. Hold on a second. We want to get to one four one nine. That's what we want. One four one nine. So right there, right there is a. The top 0.1%. Right there is the bottom 50%. And yet these guys at the Tax Foundation. Look, Josh. Look, their income flood. Look, they're paying so much more in tax. Yeah, if you take out FICA, you know that. I mean, these guys know what they're doing. Look, half the taxpayers paid 100% of federal income tax. Yeah, if you take out freaking FICA. Look, Josh. Look, their top share has increased over time, but, but, but pretend this bottom line doesn't exist. Look, Josh, the top share's income fluctuates with the business cycle. They're more risky, more risky endeavors. Yeah, they get bailed out. The bottom 50% just went down. That's wrong, man. That's wrong. I'm telling you right now. It's freaking wrong. It pissed me off. Now, I was a sucker for it. The top 1% pays 50% of the income tax. It's not fair. Well, yeah. And top 1%, guess what else they can do? They can lobby to get bailouts. They can lobby to freaking force your, you to take their products. 
They can have insider trading with freaking Nancy Pelosi. It is what it is, man. I'll never vote for the Democrats. But if the Republicans don't start offering something a little bit more secure, that may will do. Oh, I'll tell you how to fix the source code. Hold on a second. 